So a quick look today at something I haven't seen before, the Hamilton Russell Vineyards Pinot Noir 2010. So we got this on spec. It's, Hamilton Russell is a brand that we, use, that we represent quite regularly because of the success of its Sauvignon Blanc and we even have a few Pinotage converts in there somewhere. Um, the Chardonnay and the Pinot are seen by many people as being, um, I guess, in the, the, um, the very, very top echelon of producers in South Africa. Um, again, these wines are not heavily priced, all thanks to the, the, the South African rand, but definitely a move uh, by Neil Martin at Wine Advocate to give this wine 95 points out of 100 really is a major step up and a global acknowledgement of the increase in quality generally speaking from Hamilton Russell of late. Um, so I'm quite, kind of excited to see just what makes this wine so much better than the others. Um, and let's take a look. Wine's been open for about 20 minutes and it's sitting in the glass for a while. So it's not a heavy duty blockbuster nose. It's kind of that damp, wet, organic kind of component to it. Cherries, sort of dark, dark cherries, very ripe, and maybe uh, maybe some strawberries. That kind of that kind of um, nose to it. So to the palate. It's hanging off a um, a very energetic structured framework and I can see why this is getting s such a, a big leap up in ratings relative to the, the previous few years which in themselves were pretty good at about 93 out of 100. Um, but the leap in old world wines from 93 to 95 in Advocate is something fairly significant and I can see why it's deserved. There's an energy in the wine, there's a kind of um, assured force about it which is definitely something uh, worthy of, of taking a closer look at. Um, what's interesting about it too is that it's presenting really well now, unlike, uh, yeah, people often go on about Ham Hamilton Russell Pinot having a, a Burgundian soul, but most 2010 Burgundies would not even be close to being drinkable now, and I think that's one of the major differences between the two regions in this particular wine, is it's quite forward already, um, but it has great potential. Um, certainly a solid five years and beyond. There's some amazingly good structured acid in this wine and the balance is fantastic. There's that crunch that we look for and very seldom find in New World Pinot. Um, and I think that's the thing that's possibly contributing to this exceptional status. So again, the Hamilton Russell 2010 Pinot Noir.